got a bit of an impromptu video today. I was heading out into the lakes and then my car started squealing like a pig and smelling like burning. So I have had to come back to the garage and apparently it's unsafe to drive. So what we're doing now is I've just walked from the garage and we're going to go up onto this slag bank here and we're actually going to get views back over to Black Coombe, which we climbed up the other day. So it's actually going to tie in quite nicely. Just, it's not quite the views that I had in my mind, but it looks like it's going to be quite a simple walk up here and hopefully we'll get some different views. I've not actually done it this way before. I've never seen flowers like that before either, but we might get some different views and we'll go and see what we can find. I've climbed a bit higher and the views are starting to open up now. We're getting a view back over the Barrow and I didn't put it in the last video, but I was convinced I saw a hold last time. But looking back over town now, it was the town hall. See that big building there? It's got like a, like a square top to it. And you could see that sticking out the clouds and you could see Blackpool sticking out. I think, where well, Blackpool be? I don't know. I think Blackpool is sort of behind the Devonshire Dark Halls that way. So now I know what it is anyway. I don't want to get a picture of it, but I'd quite like to get a picture down on this side. It's got like an, an island at the end of Walney in the middle of the water. So I think we'll go down onto this beach area here and see if we can get a composition. I think this could work quite nicely actually. There's quite a lot of clouds on the top of Black Coombe. I bet that's what it looked like that day that we went up there. We were surrounded by clouds when we got to the top, then they cleared. But down here, might be out of frame for you, there's a little boat. So, might be 135 mil shot. We'll get set up and try and get the boat in too. Just going to quickly test it with a 24 to 70 because it's already on. I think the boat might look too small though. Yeah, no. I don't like that. So we'll put the 135 on. And there's two people in the boat. It's only a small boat, but it looks quite nice. Should add a little bit of interest to the foreground. And I have a feeling we might be going black and white today, which isn't what I usually do but the light isn't actually that great. I was actually heading home when my car started playing up. So I wasn't planning on being out now, but may as well make the most of it. Should probably zip this up as well. Don't want to fall down there. I think I got set up just in time. Now the boat is going directly away from us. So you can't see the um, mast, is it? I don't know. The sticks on the boat you can't see them and you can't see the side profile of the people because they would have been silhouettes well hopefully they are silhouettes and there's some quite nice light up on the top of black Coombe. the sun is breaking out a little bit on the top you can just about see it here maybe we could try and go for a portrait shot quickly and then we can get more of the water in and maybe that'll work quite nicely We'll give that a try. I think the boat might be a little bit too far away now, but where them clouds were brighter up on the top, it's made two bright lines in the water here and here. And the boat is about there. So I've gone for a portrait shot about there to about there and starting just below them lines. And I think it would have been better if the boat was closer because it's just a tiny speck now, but for something unplanned, I think that worked out quite nice. But we'll head up onto the top of this one now. And I think we might get a picture of the turbines. And you can also look back onto the, um, there's like a bridge. And you can see Walney over there. And we should see Coniston over that way. There's a trolley down there. 
We've also got some nicer light on Black Coombe. So we'll get another one that way. You can see the Coniston range over that way. Got Barrow, so it's like Kimberley Clark and places down here. Um, you can see Peel Castle out that way. Got Barrow, Devonshire Dock Hall. Got the bridge, you got Walney over there. And then that like concrete strip in the middle, that's a airport. So we might actually see some little planes. They tend to come quite often. So it might be quite good. Just don't really want to fall down there. We'll just stay down here. It might be quite nice to get a, a portrait shot with this in. And then you get the swag bank and black came off in the distance. I don't really know much about it, but apparently these are all from the iron workings maybe. They just They'd like have train tracks up here, they'd dump all the slag and then apparently these would glow at night time and that's all I know. They look pretty though. Up close they're kind of ugly. It sort of um, looks a bit volcanic but it's quite um, intimidating looking. So we'll get a portrait shot here and try and avoid that sign that's down there. I've got this set up now. Got a two stop soft grad and I've put the two stop hard grad on as well. The two stop soft on its own wasn't quite enough, but the hard grad just cuts that um, the skyline out. And that looks a lot better now. So I'm gonna focus about a third of the way in at F16 and I think we might be able to avoid that sign. We might need to take a slight step to the right, but I think this is going to work out pretty nice. It's actually nicer than I expected, to be honest. The sun has come out now, so. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, so for the composition, we've got the rocks down here on the foreground, and then you got the sea. I've used a polarizer to take that glare off. And I'm quite liking how, um, I don't want to take my hand off. So you got this bit arching around and then the filters are just bringing down them highlights. And I think that's working out really nice. It looks pretty much spot on straight out the camera, which is a good start. So I'm gonna have a bit of a play around here. I'm just gonna focus on my main camera for now, get a few pictures while that light's nice. I might stick this down there so you can see the clouds go over or something but there's a bit more room for area today and yeah I don't want to fall down there so we'll catch up in a minute. There we go, should get a nice view there. This is working out really nice. I've had a quick go at focus stacking as well so you take a series of images and you can stitch them together in software afterwards but I think f16 should be okay for the first one I can't quite see the screen because that sun is really bright but this is working out really nice I I wasn't expecting it to be this good to be honest I thought it was gonna be quite bleak and I think before I said I was gonna do black and white photos but I've changed my mind against that and I think they're all gonna be in color I prefer color photos anyway because it's just what your eyes see. I'm more of a documentary kind of person. And I think my head was just in the wrong place before because I'm really dreading what the garage says. I've only just got the car through the MOT, so that cost a bit too. But I don't want to think about that right now. So I'm going to distract myself and get a few more pictures. I think I'm going to end this one here. The sun's gone behind the cloud and it's not quite as nice now. And I'm going to have to start making my way back now. Not a planned adventure, but I think it's actually worked out really nice. And I really like them end photos. I think them sort of weird rocks make it. But if you want to see more videos like this and see more far away ones, 
and you want to help me get my car fixed, I've got prints and greetings cards over at adamcaffer.co.uk. You can get 10% off your first print by signing up to the newsletter at the moment and that would be massively appreciated. But if you could hit the like button and share the videos around, that would help too. But I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time.